This podcast was edited and uploaded by Uncle G Productions. Hey guys, and welcome everyone to the Drippy G Podcast. I'm your host, Uncle G, and with me is host Drip Media Gaming. We record this podcast live every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Uh, you can listen to this podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, or anywhere you can find a podcast. And you can check out me, Uncle Jeeb, at twitch.tv slash Uncle Jeeb or drip at drip media. Sorry, at twitch.tv slash drip media. Uh, drip, how are you doing this week? Fantastic. I'm quite tired. I'm not going to lie. I'm quite yeah. tired. There's been a lot of snow. Um, I don't know why I'm that. I'm, I shouldn't be that tired. I slept in today a little bit. I went to bed late, which is not new, but I don't know. It's a weird evening. Weird evening. I'm feeling a little weird. We gotta, we gotta keep the 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 hype going here. Keep me awake. Hype. We keep me that. awake. Yeah. Everyone, keep everyone in the chat. Keep me awake in the co- YouTube comments and in the Apple Podcast reviews. Keep drip awake. Oh, it good, makes though. sense, right? <laughs> uh, yeah. I I'm, yeah. Go for it. I'm uh, I'm really excited uh, about the beer of the week. I know we we we'll get to that, but I am extremely extremely excited about it tonight. Uh, I'm extremely excited about the name of my beer and the taste of my beer is less than desirable. All I gotta say is I hope oh. Joe is in the chat. And if Joe is not in this <gasps> chat, what? somebody message Joe and tell him to come right here. No right now. way. That's all I'm you gonna don't. say. That's all I'm gonna say. You don't. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god! I, I'm not. Trust me. I, if it was that cool, I would have already told you. It's not that oh. cool, but it is okay. cool. Okay, I thought, I thought it was like the not, thing. not to bring it down or anything, but boo! It's lame. <laughs> Podcast <laughs> over. No, it'd be cool. Uh, yeah, man. So, how how's your week been? Uh, it's it's been cool. It's been uh, like I said, we've got a lot of snow here, and it's yeah. doing all this weird stuff where it's like it'll snow, and then we got a bunch of snow, and then you know like a day later it just starts raining and all the snow goes away but then it gets cold again so everything freezes and then it snows again and that's happened like three times it's happening again right now that's a problem it didn't rain between it didn't rain between these two times though but it's snowing again outside right now i hate when that happens where it snows then it gets warm enough where the snow melts and then it gets it creates ice and then it snows on top of that ice repeat that cycle a couple of times and now you got yeah. like thick ice and then snow on top yeah, Hate it's a that. mess. Yeah. Don't gotta I mean, worry about that in way, Chicago. Don't gotta worry about that worry about that in my neck of the woods, because it's just been, you know, five degrees this whole time and like there's just snow everywhere because and it hasn't melted. There's no ice. Cause I mean not much ice, I should say, because it's all just snow and blocks of <laughs> ice where the snow used to be. You know, it's still yeah, there's sn- no, it yeah, looks there's no like water. snow. It's all just it looks it's all like stays frozen. Yeah, it looks like snow. It but it's ice. Cause it's just like, you know, it's just frozen solid snow. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't sound no. That doesn't sound uh, no fun. No, it's not great. I had to put air. In my, I, actually, last week I talked about that, and this week I, I finally put air in my tires. Even though last week on last week's podcast I said how they were low, I went the whole week with low air pressure. I was like, today's the day. Put air in my tires. So, but it was like five degrees out, and the wind was crazy on my face. Which masks are really awesome for that, if nothing else, right? For the cold, especially right? cloth. The cloth ones, especially. I know, man. If I my come mom, out of the grocery yeah. store in the winter, it's like, oh, this is, this yeah. is nice. I'm, like, I'm feeling yeah. feeling great about this situation right like, here. Like Uncle Jeeb can just caress your face oh, and God, keep you warm again. whenever you need. And I just love it's so weird the way that it looks. At, I hate the way that it looks. It Excuse me? It makes you me? look like a Muppet. What are you talking about? It makes you look like a Muppet. I don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Ah, uh, the old Uncle G mask. Got to bring that out when I can. Uh, my mom made me a custom mask that like covers a huge majority of my face and kind of curves with my beard, so it's really nice. Uh, it, it's it, only thing that my face, only place my face is exposed is my eyes. Everything else is covered with the mask. So you're it's like a so, ninja. Yeah, it's so comfortable. So so comfortable. Very ninja like. Hey, Xbox girl, don't buy this mask. I do have a merch store. Don't look for it because I won't sell it. Even though, <laughs> even though the company will, I don't want your money. For merch at a later date <laughs> i can say if you want I, maybe i can i can i can hook xbox girl up with one maybe if she really wants one i mean not a post she may really want one how would you how would you how would one. you feel about that i mean <laughs> your me. or you're, you're i'm sorry i didn't say that uh xbox girl becoming a muppet like around you how would you feel about that 
I don't know. She could probably pull it off better than you can. So that's probably true. Yeah, um, it's definitely true. <laughs> uh, you know what else is true? What Se- segues? Well, actually, before yes. we get into those segues, I, we I love when we do this. We talk, we go segue, and then we don't segue. No, uh, no, never mind, never mind. Yeah, never mind. we're not doing that. <laughs> the, Nintendo Thank, fold you, fold you, <laughs> fold you. Nintendo, we're going there. No, we're not. We're not couple- doing any of that. <laughs> Uh, Nintendo news real fast. We got some uh, Banjo-Kazooie dropped. Yes, it did. Haven't played yeah. it yet. Hey, me either. So. Can't uh, can't even comment on it, but I yeah. will probably play it after this. As soon as we start the after show, yeah. probably what I'm going to do. Uh, and really quickly, too, uh, our boy JD is going to be live on his Twitch later tonight watching uh, Ace Ventura Pet Detective. Or is it uh, When Nature Calls? One or the other. But there's going to be a watch party after after the podcast. We'll be going there uh, after this. But uh, for those of you in the chat who want to watch that movie with us, you're more than welcome to just stick around here. We'll send you right over there later. Yes, we will. We will do that. Uh, links in the chat. Follow him. He's cool. Um, and there was something. There was one other thing we wanted to talk about real fast. Do you remember what that was? Yeah. What is it? Lego Star Wars. Yes, uh, Skywalker Saga. We got a date. We got a date. Leaked, right? Didn't it leak? Speaking of no, no, people, they no? they put out a bunch of stuff. I heard it's, that it, it's official heard... stuff. Okay, cool, cool. Okay. Yeah, no, it didn't leak. They put it out. But what? It's uh, April fifth. Fifth. Yes. It looks so good. Like I, I'm, I'm over Lego games. Just to be a hundred percent honest, I know a lot of people love them. I know it's like yes. a thing. Yes. Um, I'm over them. This one's completely different, though. This one looks like it's it's not a regular Lego game. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's, for sure. It's new. It looks like they're Legos. Like, that's the only thing. It looks like it has in common with the old Lego games is that they're Lego people. Everything else is different. Yeah, I can't it wait. It looks like, like instead of being kind of – and the Lego games weren't really top down, but they weren't like third-person perspective. Like, you know what I mean? This is more like uh, I, I like I like the way it looks. I like the way it looks like it controls. Um, I'm really excited about this. Now that we have a date, yeah, it's going to be the first Lego game that I play and actually enjoy in uh, a long, long time. The last Lego game I played and really truly enjoyed was the Star Wars Legos from like the Xbox original. I played that on the Probably. Xbox original. Lots of fun. I had lots of fun with that game. Didn't get very far because I was not too young, but I mean, I was young and dumb as you as you would say as a young gamer. So I was like just yeah button mashing in a Lego game. Yeah, just <laughs> yeah, just playing around. Yeah, yeah. As, Once you get sick of it, you're just like okay. As a ten year old does, you know. <laughs> but uh, you know, I'm really excited for this version. Uh, I like am it's too. it's super super cool. Like I don't know. I, I, we'll let's we'll just wait until it comes out. We'll both you know we'll give our two cents on it when it comes out. But dude, that that yeah. Looking forward to that. Um, speaking of things, I'm looking forward to segues. Oh. Um, so I have news. Not that I don't want to make this the Jeep podcast, although it might be like a lot about me this episode. Who knows where we where we take these topics? But the first thing I want to start this episode with is guys. First off, thank you to my patrons, like for realsies, because I already thanked them on a personal message. But like, thank you guys as patrons. You, the amount of money I just spent is more than I am comfortable with. And I was telling Drip before the podcast, I'm very uncomfortable right now. <laughs> like, That's good. That's a good thing. I'm very it's uncomfortable. A good thing. What I've done, guys, essentially, I have taken my chips. I don't play poker. But I, what I've basically done is taken my chips and I pushed them to the center. And I'm like, guys, I'm all in. So I did not purchase my with my own money. I got an investor from a family member, but I'm working for it. A PC. I purchased a PC. Like a real one. This PC I'm using right now, you got. If you've been around for a while, you know, not the best PC. It gets the job done it's, for streaming. Not the best PC puts it quite mildly. It, I max out its capabilities every time I use it. Like the yes. CPU right now, the CPU is at ninety five. Like it's just it it's it is maxed to the max. If you looked inside the vent of this computer right now, there would be red glowing parts in there. That's what's yeah. happening. They're glowing. Actually, funny. My switch is a red Mario switch sitting on top of it. It's it actually, but before it used to be a normal switch. It's now become a red Mario switch because of how hot the air from underneath of it is rising up and touching it. There uh, you go. So yeah. So cra- So guys, I don't even know where to begin. I, I'm very scatterbrained about this whole thing. 
I just wanted to thank my patrons first and foremost because without their support, financially and emotionally, honestly, uh, <laughs> I would not be able to get to this point and and take my content, which exists on Twitch right now, exclusively off of Twitch onto the world of YouTube. Uh, and if you know, it's not my first rodeo at YouTube. I didn't make two videos last year. Uh, and I liked those videos. I was very proud of and those they videos. They were doozies. They were doozies. They <laughs> I were... was very proud of those videos. I'm like mini. I, I mini thought drip. they were good, man. Yeah. I thought they were good. I did too. The problem is the PC is like, <sighs> like <laughs> the amount of effort it took not to to edit, the effort it took to to put up with the PC and the shenanigans that was it was giving me for doing the video editing was too much. And I could only produce two without you know. Without going crazy. Yeah, I, I mean, I know exactly what you're talking about, man. I yeah. mean, dealing with, I don't know. I feel like I fight my computer all the time because I'm an idiot and I don't manage my storage well. So as soon as I get to a point where it's like there's nothing left, my Mac just starts, it's so mad at me all the time because I'm yeah. just like, okay, there's enough of it gone now that I can at least keep going. And it's yeah. just like barely enough. Right, yeah. right. Uh, I, and the, I don't know. It's not nearly as bad as what you're dealing with, but I'm, I'm very glad that, this is something that you're doing and moving forward with all this because yeah. it's, it's been needed to be done for a long time. And one of the ways that I really kind of deal with the, the stress of dealing with a crappy computer is with beer. And yeah. that's a good segue. Not We're not leaving this topic. We're just taking a detour to the beer of the week. I'll and tell you what, Jeep, you are just, you are a segue machine tonight, it's man. It's my job, you are sir. On it. It's my job. I mean, Good. God, I don't even know what to do. Okay, I have mine outside because it's it's too big to fit in the refrigerator. Okay, you go get it right now because okay. I, I think I have to fix this stupid uh, scene because I, I always ha I forgot to do it beforehand. I just got the Chrome. You know, we got I got to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know yeah. what I'm talking you about? Gotta, do you have a yeah, uh, here we go. listener beer of the week? I do have a listener beer of the week. Chrome. Right. Okay, so you're looking well, you at it. You're getting weird. Guys, you're the, the yeah, go ahead. Go get your thing. Uh, yeah, you take care of that. I'll be right back. Yes. So you guys are looking at a dumb screen right now. Uh, don't worry. Uh, what is the? I got to do this. Great podcast content, I'm sure. At the moment, bear with me. There it is. So guys, uh, the the scene is fixed. I have a listener beer of the week. Thank you so much to the listener who seems to be Parallax Puddles again coming up clutch with the beer of the week. So Parallax Puddles says this beer tastes like some damn butter. Sorry, blueberry cherry juice, and it has 5%, 5.7% alcohol. It should not taste this good. It's it's barely beer, in my opinion. It's refreshing as the day is long. Tarts a tart and sour with the clean taste of fresh pickled berries. And this beer is called the Wild Barrel Vice Blueberry Cherry. I'm what a so beer. happy he said... That it's as refreshing as the day is long. <laughs> I think he was trying to add some spice to it because he, he wasn't too spicy with his comment. That was then. extremely spicy. Yeah, that that you, nice. you kind of like tripped a little bit and put way too much garlic powder for like one second. Uh, that was got super scooped. spicy, yeah. <laughs> and so it seems like it's a sour. It's a bell. It's too small for me, my little eyes to read. That, again, this doesn't help me. When, when yeah, I try to make it bigger, week, it though. doesn't make it bigger. Uh, I can see it on the screen there yeah. decently well. It looks, it looks, it looks great. great. It, the can has like this orange look with like uh, darker orange accents, and it's a there's a barrel uh, with and it looks like kind of like cracker barrel style wording. Like a top of a barrel. And the top and of the a barrel. Uh, that. Nice Very little nice. blueberries, cherries all over the can. Very visually appealing. He, he ripped off the price because I guess he's ashamed of the price that he spends on beer, and so his yeah, wife because he probably spent. Let me him. guess, he probably spent eight dollars on that one can of beer. I'm gonna go nine. Parallax, let us know who who wins. <laughs> I'd like to know. Yeah, I'd like to know. Yeah, that, that stuff is not. If he has that kind of label on it, you know that it. Like, if it has an individual label, you know it's expensive. <laughs> yeah, because you buy one. one. Of them. <laughs> yes. it's, yeah, it's eight or nine dollars for sure. Oh yeah. So um, yeah, and that's like thank you again. If you want to submit your beer of the week for the listener beer of the week, just go ahead. Uh, Breath of the Wild is the way I remember that command. That's in the command in the chat. You can also all have this command to our Twitter. Just go ahead and go to our Twitter. Uh, twitter.com slash drip jeep and just type your beer with a picture a nice little description and uh at drip jeep to get it to us and use the hashtag beer of the week so we know that you sent it to us appreciate mm -hmm. that guys uh yeah. drip you get to your beer uh should, your beer is the highlight here's the highlight beer is it okay yeah you're the highlight I'll set it back down then i'll set it back this down. beer we i've already tasted it it's okay uh but the name the name 
So it's from a company you might know. I'm going to slowly reveal this. Lining Kugel. Okay. okay. Oop, oop, oop. Little, little secret. Oh, little oh, 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 secret. Oh, oh. So as I you saw can, a D. A little bit of chocolate right there. It is the chocolate dunkel. Oh, the dunkel. The I get it now. Chocolate, I get it now. The chocolate that's, dunkel. That's why you wanted Joe here. That's why not, I wanted Joe here. A, it's not a yeehaw dunkel, but it is a dunkel. That's correct. It's a dunkel. It's probably an uncle okay. of a dunkel, if you will. Um, it's oh, a line wow. of Kugel. It's okay. chocolatey. Let's go ahead and just you know, let's get it nice. Beautiful. Smells like chocolate. Smells like beer. Kind of interesting. Yeah, I get chocolate and beer like at the same exact time. Uh, milk chocolate or dark chocolate? Milk. Okay. It's milky. It's 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 a it's a it's a warmer milky chocolate. Sweeter. Okay. So tasting this again, tasting this again. The other night I had it with food, not my favorite. Drinking it on its own, it's not bad. It really isn't bad. It's it's it like it's it tastes like it smells chocolatey and beer in one little uh homogenous situation uh it's it's almost like a soda like if, if you it tasted a chocolate soda or pop if wherever you're from uh that's kind of what this tastes like but it's a beer pop. though i know I, I have to add it because you know there's a good portion of our country that says pop a lot of people say it here and i'm like dude that's not <laughs> what are you it. talking about <laughs> like, it's soda don't quit calling it pop yeah but yeah this is not a bad beer the, the chocolate dunkel uh it's fine I recommend I, if you want something different That's, to try, this is something different to try, and it's and you're not gonna be disappointed. Usually, the lining cool stuff, I've always I feel like I've any you couldn't put uh, it's not pop. I'm sorry, it's soda. Sorry, <sighs> Sukasa, you disappoint yeah, me. Sorry, um, that's just wrong, but it's not your <laughs> fault. It's fine. Uh, but the lining cool is usually I'm like, if I see one, I'm like, yeah, I've had that, I've had that, but I, I haven't had that. I don't think I've ever had that one. Yeah. I'm sure it's a winter seasonal yeah. type thing that they do. Yeah, and this, yeah, it's a winter seasonal thing. I'm sure. I mean, it's got like a wintery yeah. look onto it. The can looks like it's like the best description I have is like a woodsy area with a lake. You're looking out at a lake uh, with the, like you know those nice pine trees with covered in snow. There's actually a little. It's actually, it's really hard to see. So the front of the can has two cabins. I'm looking at it. You guys can't see it. I'm looking at the. It's got a uh, two. Uh, or the cabins and then has a little guy and his like son and a sled very very tiny detail right on the front oh, wow, okay and on the back it's the same well, woodsy it's, it's the same woodsy panorama but it's got a little tiny snowman like the cute I mean, you can kind of see the that. attention I, I can definitely not see that but you know what <laughs> i appreciate the attention to detail i'll have to yes. try that one if i see it i'll make sure i try to pick one up yeah all right, what do you got this week, sir? Okay. Well, I have something that I was supposed to be much more involved with. Much more involved with. But my time management skills are quite poor. So my good buddy, Matt Moran, has pretty much, beside, besides me bringing him some of the bottles that it was bottled with, he's made this himself. It was supposed to be a joint effort, but I have to give him about 99.9% .9 of the credit because I did <laughs> uh, I did source some bottles. Uh, okay. Other than that, with this one, I didn't do anything. But we have, from right down the street, <clears throat> this. This it, is a, a blue raspberry sour. Ex homemade. Explain the jar to everybody who's listening. Okay, well, we, we decided, we talked about how it's probably a good idea since we're going to be making a lot of different beers. If we had things that, you know, could be airtight seals like this so we didn't have to yeah. bottle cap everything. So I think going forward, we're going to try to get a bunch of these and do them all like this. Just so it's, it's just easier in the bottling process. What is you this? Don't have to use anything else. What is what this? What is it? Yeah. Big, I don't for, know. For it's the a cork listeners. on a bottle. It's like I don't a, know how to explain it. Like a metal cork that's being pushed down via pressure, you know, into the bottle. Yeah. It's got like a, a reusable little, cork. Uh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, I mean, that's pretty much it. Here's the thing. This right here is the first bottle that's been opened of this stuff. This is it. This is the first actual taste test right here. You're going to be the first one to try this beer ever. Now, he's tried it. He's oh, tried okay. it before. Now, 
this is the first carbonated one, and we still may be a touch early. It may not be as carbonated as we want right now, but yeah, this is the first one after putting the uh, you know, the activation sugars or whatever in it. Yeah. To uh, to be open. So it looks like oh, a okay. craft. It's carbonated. It looks like it's a craft soda. It, that's the way it looks. It's it's that color green that's unnatural enough that it looks like soda, but also not. It's not Holy like shit. it's not like it Mountain Dew. Amazing. It's not like Mountain Dew. Yeah, it's color. not not quite Mountain Dew. It's more like uh, I would call this. It doesn't look like it in this light to you guys, but in regular light because I'm seeing light coming into it, I would say it's uh, Animal Crossing green. Okay, kind of like the Joy-Con. Yes. Okay. That's that's about what color. And by the way, it's a Grulosh style bottle. Uh, thanks, Matt Moran. There we go. Oh yeah, Matt Moran in the chat. All right. Well, let's see what he's got. This is the first time. It smells amazing. So we got a blue blue raspberry sour here. It, it looks amazing. Seems like it smells amazing. Oh what my is God, it? it? Smells fantastic. What does it taste like? Give it a sip. Oh my God. <laughs> okay. It is too early. It's not quite carbonated enough yet. We're not quite there. But um, I will say, holy shit. Blue raspberry sour. That's what it is. I mean, it is spot on. I mean, man. Okay, the blue raspberry is like, I'm trying to think of a good blue raspberry flavor. It's very, uh, very realistic raspberry flavor. I believe it, man. It looks like, it looks like there's fruit in it based off the color. Like you didn't add, to him, did he did he add any coloring of any sort? Uh, I don't know. You'll have to ask him. He's in the chat. I'm sure oh, he's he can respond. If, he will. Yeah. He will respond. Um, holy crap! It's it's amazing. It's like it needs to be carbonated. That's yeah, it. Like yeah. obviously this wasn't ready. That's fine. But like the actual flavor of it, holy crap! It's perfect. And I'm pretty sure he said uh, no. He said he put no artificial colors in it. This is just okay. what happened. Um. I believe he said this is about seven percent alcohol. That's a and it tastes yeah. it tastes like juice. Yeah, I'd go easy on that, brother. Yeah, as you're going for your seventh sip. <laughs> oh man, dude, it looks it's great. So good, it looks great. It's man. so good. I'm so oh, I'm so happy. So happy. Yeah, uh, it, it, it's fantastic. We'll we'll keep on that. That's great. Delicious. Between seven and eight. Okay, yeah. We yeah. Have to be- a little careful with this one. Good, here. good guy, Matt Moran, making some delicious looking beer there. Very good. Yeah, yeah I believe the next one uh, is going to be a peanut butter or a chocolate peanut butter. Ooh, yeah, something like that, which makes a lot more sense for this time of year. I'm sure him and I will go through this fairly quickly. Yeah, because this is this is too good to be true right here. This is amazing, Matt. I'm sure you're going to make something that tastes way better than Line and Kugel's chocolate dunkel. Uh, but if you could name a dunkel, I'd appreciate that. Whatever chocolate beer you make, just call it Dunkle in honor of the line of Google chocolate Dunkle. And that reminds me, we have no name for this. Oh, ooh, Matt. If Matt Miranda gives us permission, we could have the Twitch audience and the podcast audience name this beer for you guys. Oh, please. Yeah. I, I don't think he's going to have a problem with that. He says, yeah. go for it. Okay. Yeah. Twitch audience, uh, you guys think about it. Uh, at Drip Jeeb on at, uh, on Twitter with your names of what this beer should be called, and Matt Moran will name it that. <laughs> you guys go crazy with the names oh in the God, chat. That we'll, one's we'll, already great. We'll read Plasma that kind of stuff range. in the after. I don't want to go through the, the names right now during the actual recording. In the after show, we'll get more to that. But again, if yeah, audio fine. listeners we'll and Twitch show. listeners, at Drip Jeeb on Twitter, what's the name of this beer? Uh, this topic makes me uncomfortable. I don't know why it makes me so uncomfortable. I don't, I'm not a guy who likes to talk about myself. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's why... I don't go to a therapist, but I mean, maybe I should, but like, I don't, <laughs> <laughs> I don't like talking about myself, but like, that's kind of what we're about to be doing, about to be doing here. So get the beer out, Jeep. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, we, we, we need to talk about it because this is, it's happening all around us, which yes. is crazy. Yes. And I love this. Yes. I love this. You know, everybody, you know, our, our whole little group here, everybody's just got a fire under their ass right now. And it's amazing. It's yes. just it's so cool to see everybody's just ready to go moving stuff forward. I mean, you, you're, you know, if not more than anybody else, I mean, you, you just got a PC. Yeah. Which yes. is like the biggest thing is like, you can do whatever now. <laughs> I have unlocked the key that to the, to the tools that have been locked away from me. Like the PC, yeah. 
allows me to learn the things I need to learn about editing. It allows me to actually produce edited things, not only for my Uncle Jeep YouTube channel, but like the Dripping G podcast, for example, is going to be getting an upgrade in the upcoming months. We're gonna, I get, once I learn how to edit, we're gonna do. I'm gonna do some things to this podcast, video wise, and hopefully audio as well, to just you know make it a little bit better experience for you guys. So this is for the podcast. It's it's for Uncle G Productions, right? You guys heard the the Uncle G Productions. Uncle G Productions. <laughs> you heard that at the beginning of this. Like, yeah, my my, my brand of Uncle G Productions. It, it, it that's what the PC is for. The podcast, my Twitch, my YouTube. As someone asked earlier in the chat, you have a YouTube. I do have a YouTube. I post two videos last year. Haven't posted anything since because we explained yeah. that a second ago before the beer. But yeah, so like I, I, so I got the PC, right? But I also got like a load of other little accessories that I can, I can actually show you right now. So it's a few of yeah, them. Yeah, yeah. You were show, he was showing me off, off camera. I was like, save it. Save yeah, yeah. it. Let's, yeah. let's go over some of this stuff. I mean, you know, we don't have to take an hour on it, but I want to see what it is. Yeah. So it's not all. Okay. <laughs> it's, oh, God. It's not There's all. A lot. Let, me, let me bring this microphone closer. It's not all here. This is only part of it. <laughs> but. The first, uh, where, did we, where did I start earlier? Oh, I started with this. So I get, we're, we're, I'll zip through this. My, uh, a little uh, uh, boom arm that is going to hold the camera, my webcam, just a, in a better position. Because uh, the reason I need it in a better position is because these two accessories right here, this accessory, I'm like, talking off the, bat of the boxes, it's weird. Uh, this accessory is going to go on my monitor because my monitor doesn't have VESA mount. So this will make my monitor have VESA. And then... It's upside down, but here's a, a monitor arm, so I can yeah, raise this I need monitor. Another one of those. Up. Yeah. So the monitor's going up. Uh, monitor's going up off the desk. Give more space for the PC that's coming. Uh, yeah, I need I need that bad. This one here, my mate, the big one is on an arm like that, but then yeah. the one over here is on the. It's literally the worst stand ever. It takes up so <laughs> much room. It's like I can't yeah. even push the monitor back because it'll just. It has like a tripod leg going on yeah one of them's in the back so if you go too far it just kind of like <laughs> yeah leans back yeah yeah uh so this is is i don't know je jelly stuff this is just some uh co like command strips that they, for picture frames i'm gonna use to hang some posters up uh i'm thinking about using like the if you remember i used to record for a short period of time with the the backdrop behind me with those yeah. room dividers i'm thinking about hanging some posters on the room dividers just as somewhere to shoot like in front like standing in front of those with some posters behind it. I don't know. We'll, we'll play around with it. This will allow me to hang some stuff up. Uh, cool. And again, a lot of it's not here. This is just some of it. And this is a ring light, a port, another one. I have, I have two in front of me, two lights above my head. But this is just another one that's more mobile on a tripod that I can bring around. So if I want to record upstairs a little bit, I got a light that Good if I idea. needed to. Um, I have a light on a stand over here for the same exact reason. Mm -hmm. Mostly B-roll, but... Yeah. yeah, so I don't have to take any of this other stuff down. It just sits there yeah. off off camera, off to the side, ready to go. Yeah, and the things I don't have that it's super exciting that to, that I finally got. I have an upgraded capture card. I didn't tell you about that. Oh, you did not tell me about that. Yeah, so it's not the Elgato because honestly, as a Switch streamer, I don't need an Elgato. <laughs> I don't need 4K 60. You know, like it's not not, really. not necessary for a Switch. Uh, but I also need something better than 720p 60 and also questionable performance out of this $15 capture card that also hey, I use, a, I use the same one for uh not this camera yeah the other one yeah you and can... yeah <laughs> and one day one day when I get like a DSLR I'll just use one of these can these I was called a cam link one of these China cam links for the the DSLR camera or whatever I get in the future a mirrorless camera whatever you want to call it dude this stuff is so good <laughs> this is ridiculously good very good uh, Sorry. and then, and then the capture card, it's, so it's a 1080p 60 signal and it's, uh, from EVGR. So I don't know the, whatever company that is. I can't remember. They make it, uh, they make an Elgato competitor. They also make a stripped down Elg Elgato competitor. That's cheaper. Uh, I don't remember the name of it, but it's 1080p 60. So it'll be great for this. That's all you need. That's all you need. That's all I need. And it's like a reputable company, like a real product, not a hack, like China mod that's being sold on eBay, you know, <laughs> or sorry, Amazon. Whatever. It's yeah, it's a real capture card. I can yeah. have like real customer support if it breaks and stuff like that. So very good. Uh and I can't remember that I just like little things that are gonna go on my desk, around my desk, things to help me use to create videos, not only at the desk here, uh, at this setup, which it'll kinda look like this in the future when I make a next YouTube video. It's probably gonna look like this. Just me talking yeah. with the fireplace in the back, looking like that. Uh but I also wanna what if I wanna film my couch? Let me put bring the my, my phone, which is gonna be my camera. Uh, let me let me show you this, actually. This is quite interesting. This is the Moment case. 
if you're probably familiar because you're a photographer guy. I am familiar. Yes. This is the moment case for my phone. So my phone doesn't has a tel um, it it only has a zoom in. What's the zoom one called? Zoom lens, telephoto, telephoto. Yeah, telephoto. I, it only has a telephoto built in. Does not have wide. So this case is going to allow me to in this little baggie here, I got for Christmas a few years ago. Um, you have a wide angle in there. I got a wide angle moment lens, and I also want to get some more wow, lenses too. Dude, like that's nice. Oh yeah. What's it, what's the heavy. what's the I'm sure. I've never actually held one in my hand. I almost bought a whole set of stuff. 18 millimeter. Back. 18 millimeter. Okay. 18 millimeter. That's. Okay. So I shoot wide open on my videos on this lens is 14 millimeter. So it's a little bit wider than what you got there, but 14 millimeter, to be honest, is too wide. Yeah. Sometimes I go, I, I usually bump it into about 16, but yeah. 18 is going to be perfect. That's yeah. going to be perfect. So I'll utilize this little little kit. It was going to be my camera. Is my phone. It's not the the Pixel. It's the Pixel Four XL. If you're if you're curious, good cameras, not great video cameras. Not notable for their video. So yeah, but we'll see. It's going to be fine. It's going to be just fine. I think so. Uh, our boy, Bomb TV, just released his first uh, video today. Sure he did. Shot it with his phone. Shot uh, it with his phone. Yeah, man. It's a. I watched uh, the video. It's great. Go go to his YouTube channel. youtubecom slash TV. Maybe. Hopefully I mean, that's what it is. I think I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty if sure. Not, yeah, I mean, if not, you know, yeah. drop a link. Yeah, he'll let us know. Um, but yeah, so like I got I'm upgrading, guys. The podcast is gonna get an upgrade, my stream's gonna get an upgrade. Uh future projects that we may or may not be working on at this exact moment that Drip and I could we be are. a part of. Future stuff <laughs> happening. <laughs> like talked unre about related last night relate and today. Yes. Unrelated slash related to the PC stuff, like Drip and I are working on a project, and that's all you need to know about. And it's going to be awesome. It's going to be fantastic. It's something See, new. I wouldn't even say we're really working on it. We're just involved in. I mean, I guess we're working on it too. We'll be. We're, we're I'll, I'll be working on it. You it. don't. If you don't want to work on it, that's fine. I'm going to work. No, I mean, I'm working. I'm, work, <laughs> I'm working on it. I'm just saying. At this working point, I don't think I, I. I can't say that I'm working on it because I haven't really done that much work. Yeah, I, yeah. But I don't want to. I don't want to say too much information about it. It's just. It's gonna be. It's gonna be cool. Stick around. Yeah, to lots it. of cool stuff. Yeah, yeah, we're. That's that's just what's so great right now. Like I'm. I'm really happy with everything that's going on right now because it seems like, the beginning of this year for some reason every you know everybody always says like, oh you know, when the new year starts I'm gonna do this and then 95 percent of people don't do anything, but it seems like, this 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 little, you know the, the Justice group League group of people here. Yeah, this group of people uh, just seems to be pushing. It's awesome. It makes me want to push. It makes me want to push harder. I mean, hey man. I put a video out today. I'm going to put you another sure one did. out tomorrow. You sure did. It was a good video, I, as always. I might, I might film two more tomorrow as long as I can get the rest of my stuff done. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I, I just I want to do more right now. I want to do more because I see everybody else around me doing more, and it's just it's a really yeah. good feeling. It's just it's awesome. Yeah, but I got I, just, yeah. I was saying I was saying earlier, I got this like nervous feeling because now I'm I'm pressuring myself to do more. Like I I I had two options to go. I could have either gone the direction of very seldom streams like I have been doing and getting a new job that's full time. That was the option I had. The other option I had was sit down. Spend some cash right now, go all in and work on this as a passion project at the moment. And hopefully in the future, it could be a source of revenue and, and maybe even my permanent gig. Who knows? Well, I mean, it can be. It can be. It's not right now. It won't not, be for a very long time. Give up. Yeah. But I mean, you know what? It doesn't matter, man. Eventually it yeah. will be. You just don't. Look, don't stop. I, I'm 27. And there's I no got, choice. It's just going to happen, or you're yep. just going to die. <laughs> I got lots of years to 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 build this up. I'm not in any rush to become the next best YouTuber. Like, that's not. There you go. It's, I'm just. I'm. I'm in it for the long haul. I'm trying to. I'm working my way up. This. This is the very first step. That well, the first step is to put yourself out there. That was Twitch, right? Put myself out there, making some stuff, streaming. Not really making, just streaming. You know. But the next step is like, okay really make a YouTube account and put content out for the people to watch. And hopefully some shit sticks on the wall. That's what I'm hoping. It will. It'll stick. Sometimes uh, it does. Speaking of shit that's st stuck on a wall. Um, <laughs> this thing right here, this Nintendo switch OLED that is in oh, my hands. Jeep finally got an <laughs> OLED. There it is. And look, look, and we match. 
I mean, how nice is that? We we, we totally did. You didn't put just, them on. I didn't put them. I you couldn't line find. sack of shit. I I don't have the stick covers on, but yeah, we have the same <laughs> everything. Look at that. It looks great. The blue. I Dude, was just looking Zelda, forward. The Zelda Joy Cons are just they're so nice. They're so I fantastic. Love them. Um, really so are. yeah, one more, one more and not the last shout out for Coca baby for getting this switch to me for an incredibly good deal because they got it for an incredibly good deal and passed on their savings to me like a, a discount furniture store or something. <laughs> but yeah, no wonderful, uh, switch OLED, uh, Coca baby sent to me that I paid them for uh, soon. <laughs> yeah. You got, I mean, you got a good deal. You got a good deal on that. Got a great deal. Sure. Um, can't thank you enough, Coca baby. Uh, but now. Because I got this in my hands, I was not expecting to feel the way I do about it. So obviously I've held one. I've heard a lot about it. You guys at home probably have a Switch OLED right now. You know what's up with it. You've seen it. I'm just getting to the party. Like, it's one thing to just look at it, and it's another thing to play on it and live with it, right? Yeah. And, and actually, like, exactly. play some games that you know what they look like. Play some games on this thing versus the other one. I already knew the quality was great, right? I already knew, I already knew that this thing was great. I already knew that this thing is quality. I didn't know how good certain games could look. I just didn't know until I saw it. It's like the first time you see VR. You just don't know what it looks like until you <laughs> yeah. actually see it. Right? Yeah. The, you I, you, you can't explain it. You have to just you have to look at it in person. I've seen and I had I struggled with that trying to make videos about this thing. I, I didn't even I didn't even bother. I wanted to do a comparison of the screens, but it's like it does not come across on camera how much better it actually is. It's not just the like I want to harp to how good the screen is. Don't get me wrong, but my first YouTube video that I'm going to release soon, I'm no promises on the date, but that's going to be the first video that actually goes up is a video about the Switch OLED because I feel very strongly about how I feel about it. And how I feel about it is very very positive. And it's and it's spoilers, it's not I'm not going to tell you tonight, but it's not all about the screen. There's other yeah. aspects to this thing, this OLED that other people like even you are, have not talked about, at least not that I know of, and at least, at the very, very least, have not made a big deal about. Because there's certain things about this Switch that are so different from the normal Switch that it's like, why aren't we talking about this more? So that's going to be my, my video that I'll be releasing soon. That's interesting. So, but yeah, there, there's certain things about this. It's like, why are we overlooking this aspect of this console? Because it's great. Uh, the screen is obvious. It's less obvious things about this that makes this console so much better than the normal Switch. Uh and I will answer this question now on this podcast. I'm trying to look now. Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> the, the, I don't even know what you're going to be talking about, but that's fine. I'll, tell you, off, I'll tell you off camera, but uh, as okay. far as now, I won't say anything because it'll be, it's, that's going to be the video. But uh, what was I going to say? Oh, this is definitely metal. This kickstand is definitely metal. Yeah, I think so too. Yeah. What, I keep, a thousand I keep going percent. Forth. A thousand yeah. percent metal. It, it sounds like metal. It, yeah. it feels like metal. It gets cold like metal. It is metal. Yeah. Uh, I thought yeah. it was. I said it was in the videos I made on it. Yeah. And then I had some people say, no, it's plastic. And I'm like, mm. yeah. I so I, I, probably, I wonder how do you feel about this, by the way, speaking about the OLED before we get off of it, the white background, I think looks the best. Uh, I don't, I mean, it's fine. On the OLED um, specifically. Yeah. I don't know. I just, it's too bright for me. I go with the, I go with the night mode. So, like, the thing I don't like about the night mode on this is that this is an OLED screen, meaning when the the screen goes has black pixels, they just straight up turn off, just like as if it was tur it was off, right? Right. Yeah. That's dark. That's dark mode. This thing doesn't have dark mode. This thing has like light gray mode. It's light gray. Right. It would be a lot cooler if the background was actually black. just black, or like even yeah. or like more modernized to where it's like a transparent gray, where like where it's like. Like something that's more translucent, mean, yeah. translucent. That's, the gray is kind of, but you know, they, they've had the same exact user interface with nothing changed since yeah. the switch. I mean, yeah, it's not going to change. We're never going to see anything different there, which yeah. is fine. I mean, whatever. I've given up on that, but Hey, who knows? I can be wrong. I gave up on Bluetooth support too. And look at that. Just, <laughs> yeah. You know, never came, know. Came out of nowhere. They're like, I, Oh yeah, it's fine. We'll just turn it yeah. on now. I Good. just can't, I can't stop looking at it. Like I'm looking at it and I'm just like, this thing looks beautiful. So much yeah. more Let me beautiful ask you this. than Are the you using switch. the kickstand the way that you you have made me use the kickstand? So I got the big grips on for on the uh, on the uh, Neo. It doesn't work as well with the big grips yeah, on. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't. You I can only get it to a certain angle, and yeah. it's way out there. It's almost but laying down anyway. It's it is, but it is much better to have it. I wish I could show you. I can't. It's way better to have it up like this than 
back like this, if that makes any yeah. sense. So like yeah. leaning all the way back, it's much better to have it at least a little bit raised so I can get my fingers on there and grab it. I don't know. Uh, but yeah, the kickstand is, is, is fantastic. I haven't been using it that much because yeah. I got the, the Neo on there uh, with the big grips. But yeah, no, it's, it's good. Yeah, I've been Here, using the small grips just because I have it in a case. Is it supposed to be this loose with the – like with – wait, actually, no. Oh, yeah. So it's very loose. Like with it needs this. It needs this. Uh, this little yeah, piece? Depending on – depending on uh, I mean, mine's not very loose. It's pretty tight. Mine's I mean, loose. a little bit loose. Mine's, and that's, I'm like not concerned about it. I'm just a little frustrated by it. Like I don't want to have – it looks so good. And then there's that little tiny piece of plastic from the Neo Grip touching the OLED top. And it's just like, I don't want that there. Why is that there? And I take oh, it I off. Like it. I take it off, and then it's too loose. It's, it's going to fall right out of the thing. I don't know. See, it's interesting, too, because I, I mentioned that in the video I did on these things. Uh, this original white one that they sent me was clearly an early, you know, early production model that's not the final model. This Animal Crossing one is completely different. Like down to down to the sides in here where the yeah. Joy Cons go in. Uh -huh. There are actual. I mean, there's pad. There's big rubber pads there now. It's big square ones. Good. Um, but there are cutouts in the plastic where you can see where you know before these things were actually put in the little rubber squares, like to show you, like okay, those sit in there. Like that's not on this one. So yeah. I mean, it's been changed several times. It's been changed several times. I don't know how old that one is that you have there. So it could be somewhere between the original one that I got and the newest one, which is this. Yeah. But who knows? That's that's one thing about Skull & Co. You just kind of sucks, kind of doesn't. But it's like yeah. they, they you know, they wanted to be out there first with this thing. Yeah. And, I, and another another video I want to make uh, is, is the Skull & Co. versus the Satisfy. Because, you know, that's something to me that's – I am going to like this more as I'm using it, hey, especially. You better, you, you better hurry up. Mine's coming out. Soon. <laughs> well, I'm not. I can't make mine until you send me the grip. Oh yeah, I gotta. <laughs> I gotta make mine before I can even send this to you, so you can make yours. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but the, like, uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, the the kickstand. Yeah, it's great. It's great, man. It's it's really it's great. Yeah, I I want to get off the OLED topic because people know about this. It's not new. It's new for me, but not new for you guys. It's just uh, yeah. And more new things. I'm getting a PC and I have an OLED in my seat. Like I was not thinking I was going to have any of this anytime soon. And now all the tier. Tomorrow, to, by the way, upgrades. PC comes tomorrow. By the way, I'm not going to oh, set it. I'm not, I won't set it up till Saturday because tomorrow Still, night. Though, tomorrow awesome. night. One more plug for uh, for tomorrow night with our hang with Julian oh, or JD. Yeah. JD Melnick. Uh, I, I should have that shot up ready to go. But yeah, we're hanging out with JD tomorrow night. If uh, obviously listeners, you're probably gonna. Uh, hopefully you guys are already subscribed to the Twitches so you get notified. But we're hanging out with JD on his channel tomorrow night, just eating some weird food, playing some Mario Kart. It's going to be a blast. I'm not looking forward to it. I, I was telling him last night, there's a few. There's a few. And, you know, we're keeping it secret what we have to eat and the stuff. But, like, there's a few. I can't lose. I have to win. <laughs> like, I have to. I can't wait to make you lose. No. I told I told him... <laughs> I, I don't know if it was earlier today or last night when we were playing on his channel. We did we did Mario Party last night, but I, I was like, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hard like tomorrow afternoon, right before we go on, just get nice and warm, make sure I can just <laughs> kick your guys's ass. <laughs> no, I, I don't plan on losing very much. I think in a cup situation, I can do pretty well because maybe I won't finish first more than twice. But if I if I can finish first twice, I can most certainly finish second a few times. I know I can. Like, I'm calling you out and JD right now. Wow. I'm sweeping. Okay. I'm sweeping the whole game. Yeah, right. Get out of here. Uh, our face cams will be on JD's stream, so it's going to be, like, nice and homey with all of us hanging out as homies on his Twitch. That'll be fun. Uh, so yes, don't don't be, miss that. Yeah, we had a good time last night, man. We went we went pretty late. I ended up ordering a pizza. We, we did a little uh, review breakdown of my pizza yeah. late night. Yeah, that was fun. It was really good pizza. Very good. <laughs> I was sleeping like a baby. He went live literally as I'm turning the lights out. I'm like, I really wanted to hang out for a little bit, but like, it's bedtime. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's understandable. It's yeah. understandable. We had a good time. It was fun. Good. It was a lot of fun. I'm glad. Uh, what's the next topic, sir? Well, something happened this week. What happened? Pretty interesting. I don't know. What are you talking about? Um, Microsoft decided that they were just going to buy... Activision Blizzard. 
So I don't know if you heard about it. It's a couple people talking about it. No idea. What Not a huge about. thing. Uh, Sixty-eight billion dollars. Is, is, is Act- going to be Activision Blizzard? This. Is that like a like a like a Dairy Queen Blizzard? Uh, Did they yes, buy a Blizzard? It's a lot like that. Okay. Yes, it's a lot like that. It's just a really big one. It costs really... sixty-eight billion dollars. It's a lot of ice how, cream. How much? Sixty-eight billion, not seventy billion. Sixty-eight billion. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How billion. much? Six, 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 eight. 68 billion. 68 billion dollars. Yes. Bill, billion. Like, like think pinky to the mouth billion. Yeah. Like trillion, fulfillion. <laughs> mi- <laughs> mi- yes. Like that. Oh, wait, I'm bald. I got to do it. <laughs> One million dollars. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sixty-eight billion dollars. Can we before we even talk about any? Well, no, we should talk about the merger first. Let's talk about the actual merger because to me that's the less interesting part. <laughs> to be completely honest with you, the money one, is what interests me. There's one that I know everybody's talking about. Like, I mean, I have it here. You've got you've got the Call of Duty stuff, which is yes. you know, it's going to be interesting to see what happens going forward. Uh, I think I think it's going to be split. I, I think. Sp- like you know the war the war zone stuff will be everywhere still but i think the the main call of duty like full game is going to end up being an xbox exclusive um that would be that. absolutely insane call of duty i'm telling you the main full game is going to be on game pass i'm telling you it's going to happen uh crash you know it is what it is that's that's definitely going to be a microsoft exclusive that might uh, that might might end up on switch still because you know microsoft plays nice with nintendo yeah uh the tony hawk they just remade those tony hawk games dude yeah. those were great they yeah. were on everything uh could we see that as an xbox exclusive the next ones because you know those did pretty well for remakes they were done really well people really enjoyed them i don't think we're done we only got one and two i mean we qu- may get a brand new tony hawk game Real quick, Honestly. I think something really interesting to note here is that it's, I think it's interesting, interesting, Candy Crush is, is yeah, included yeah, yeah. in all a, of this. That's right. a big game. Like, you hear Candy Crush, like, all oh, that dumb little game that everyone plays. Yes, but that's it's why the you game know that it every, is. It's the game that everyone plays, meaning it's a lot of money. And, like, now Microsoft owns oh, yeah. Candy Crush, too. It's crazy. Crazy. 68 crazy. a billion billion yes billion. uh okay so we also have uh spyro which we just got the reignited trilogy on everything that was actually pretty good on switch i really enjoyed that um there's that uh probably anything going forward with that is going to be i would say microsoft exclusive maybe nintendo gets it if they're nice uh you already mentioned candy crush uh we've got world of warcraft yep like that is going to be like what are they going to do with that that's it's kind of <laughs> scary uh diablo so probably any new diablo games going forward it's so much to take in like there's so many friends it's, a lot, it's, it's yeah. not like it's just one of these it's all starcraft of these. what could, like, uh, okay so there's one there's one that i'm like nothing's been done with it forever but man i'm ready for a new one you're looking at it right there i just is this rock band guitar hero guitar hero okay they have guitar hero now Yes, well, Xbox. Now, now that guitar now that I'm now. a streamer, obviously, like I, I play games on the internet for the most part. Very seldom actually on my own, especially on the TV. But like Rock and Rock Band's not gonna be a game I can play on stream. But on my personal time, I'm probably gonna play as much as Ring Fit if I end up coming. But that's an interesting thing to think about. Like Guitar cause, Hero, because don't forget, like this is not Rock Band. Rock Band is I'm my sorry. other company. I'm, I'm fairly so- sure. I'm sorry, it, but let's be honest. Same games, just a little different. <laughs> <laughs> they're different. They're different. Listen, different. we played a lot. We played a lot of Rock Band back in uh, uh, listen, back in dude. the day when I lived on Fourth Street with Matt Moran. Listen. We at one point, listen, this is crazy. We at one point had an entire house full of people, right? Party. It was a party going on. We had a full band playing Rock Band in the living room. People were all around us, standing on the couch. We were playing, uh, what was it? Oasis Wonderwall. 
The entire living room is singing with us. It was like we were playing an actual show, dude. It was insane. <laughs> I will never forget that. It was the coolest experience I've ever had with any of those. I mean, it was it was just amazing. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it, it's interesting. Rock, rock, rock band. It's like, wait, guitar hero. Guitar, God, I can't guitar literally, yeah. I literally can't remember. It's, it's, I think rock, when I think of guitar hero, I think of rock band. It's just, if I say it, you know what I mean. Guitar Hero coming to Microsoft, being owned by Microsoft, is a very interesting thing. It's kind of been dead, right? I mean, there's not really any games out recently. There hasn't, yeah, there hasn't been anything, but that's the thing. Now, all these old ones will uh-huh. probably go to Game Pass. Interesting. Right? I, that's a, yeah. I mean, I was thinking about new games. They'd make new one put on Game Pass, but yeah, well, the yeah, old games. Yeah, I mean, that's the hope, but yeah, yeah, I mean, all the old ones. Yeah, that's... If you can get a guitar that. that's compatible with, uh, with an Xbox... I, I mean, have that's a, almost worth the price of Game Pass right there. <laughs> I I can't even imagine. It's there's so much to unpack that I don't even want to unpack any of it because it's just like we don't know what they're gonna do with all this. We no, know we don't. We, we don't. know everybody's got their opinions on on the the is it gonna be exclusive? Is it not? Everyone's got their opinions. We you're right. We don't know. We're no. not gonna know. Because they just did the same thing with Bethesda, but we're yeah. seeing some of what they're doing. But it's not—they're not keeping everything for themselves. They're kind of—I don't. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. Yeah, it's very. I mean, I, it's very interesting how this is all going to play out. I mean, honestly, so there, uh, Microsoft owns Xbox, but also Microsoft also owns PCs. So don't don't think. I mean, they have they've Game right, Pass yeah. too, but I just don't think that. Like this is, I know it's a big deal. Don't get me wrong. This is a huge deal. I mean, sixty-eight billion is nothing to to, to, to scoff at. It's the biggest acquisition in I, video game history. It's, it's so much to unpack that I think at the very least it'll be years before we get we answer all the questions. Oh, at yeah. least like this is going to be years and years of like questions being answered. Well, and we'll see. What we'll see is whatever Activision's got in the works now. We're going to know next year. When the new Call of Duty comes out, we're going to see right there what their plan is there. But Activision, I'm sure, has other games in the works that we'll see. I mean, there could be deals in place with with Sony already before this whole thing went down, because there was with Bethesda too. Bethesda had deals with Sony to do. Uh, I don't. What was it? Was it Deathloop? Was that a Bethesda thing? I can't remember. I anyway, know. they had they had some stuff that had to go on these other. There was deals in place before, and they honored those deals. So I mean. Who really knows? But do you remember? Do you remember me talking about this a long time ago? And no. I said, I said, in ten years, there's not going to be third party companies. I don't remember. There's going to be. There's that. going to be something that happens because every you know, Sony buys Insomniac Games. Sony buys this. Microsoft comes in and buys Bethesda. Like this may be the domino that has just fallen that has everybody like, oh shit. Like get who you can get right now because there's not going to be anything left. I hate and everybody's going to start by. I know I don't like it either, but I'm telling you that's the way this is all trending. That's that's what's happening right now. And I, I honestly think if this isn't it, there's going to be a domino that falls at some point when it's just going to be a free for all, and everybody's going to start grabbing whatever studios they possibly can to keep them from the other one. It's a whole other conversation. That's a whole other conversation because now we're getting yes, into the topics. It's not even gaming at that point. Now we're talking about monopolies. We're talking about whether it's good or good or not good for gamers and the industry. Well, at that point, no, it's not good. But as I long mean, as there's still Sony and Microsoft, there is at least still competition. Right. But it's not right. necessarily going to be as good as if all these companies were still individually owned, you know? I mean, it's yeah. very, yeah. I mean, I mean clearly, then it's like, you know, it's like you can play. That, that was the beauty of third party. You know, that's the, that's the beauty of third party companies. You don't have to own an Xbox. You don't have to own a PlayStation necessarily. You could own one of one of them or a PC or maybe a switch depending. And you could play these third party games. But I, I think that's, I think that's slowly going to go away. I really do. I mean, this just keeps happening. We talked about, I think, I think we talked about this on one of our first podcast episodes. Really? I have to go back and look. But, I mean, it just keeps happening. It does, it's not stopping. It's just it's happening more. $68 billion fucking dollars. It, it's insane. Let's move on to that. <laughs> <laughs> the, 
let's rehash one more time. When I Googled 68 billion dollars. I so I'm at work, right? Paint this picture for you guys. I'm at work and I get a notification, as I frequently do. Microsoft buys a couple companies. I didn't really exactly get to read who it was. I'm like, oh, Activision. Okay, I mean, that's probably a huge deal. Um, I'm not, as you guys know, I mean, I'm, I'm mostly a Nintendo guy these days. Uh, with a new PC, I'm going to open my world up to more games. So maybe I'll get more into normal, you know, Game Pass, Xbox, PC stuff. But for now, Game Pass is the shit, man. Yeah, I, I'm more into like Nintendo. So like, I hear Activision, Blizzard. I'm like, I don't know too much about that. I know like, I can think of top of my head, Spyro and Crash. But like, I didn't. Th- I had did not understand the magnitude. Right, I'm at work. I look. I'm okay. Get home. Look. I'm, I'm on my get home on this TV back here, scrolling through YouTube as I usually do. That's what I watch and scrolling through. Sixty eight billion, and yeah. I'm like, I'm like million. That's a lot. No, <laughs> billion. I well, saw me- that, and I it's yeah. my, my eyes got huge. I looked at the screen like, how much? <laughs> what? Oh, me, this is a big deal. And then I got a even, text from a couple of different deal. people Hold about on, think it. Think about this. Think about this. Even bigger deal. Because guess what Sony's highest moneymaker was on their platform this past I, I don't year? Need to, I don't need to. Oh, this past year. Oh, okay. I don't know. This past year. Oh, Call of Duty. Highest Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty. And now they may not have that. Uh, here, That's but, huge. That's huge. Guess what Microsoft now owns that used to be Sony's? It used to be Mario was was like Nintendo. We had uh, who was the who, we had we had, uh, we had uh, uh, um, a Master Chief and who else was uh, before Master Chief? There was another one. Yeah, I mean, uh, I don't even I don't, I don't know. know. Microsoft had their Master they Chief. had their they had their thing. We'll say just Master Chief for now. Sp- it was Crash. Crash, dude, was Sony's th- shit. Yeah, that was Sony's Mario. Place. Yeah, he was at Nintendo's place with the. With the megaphone talking shit on Mario, like like in the like commercials. Crash just hold on. Crash just pulled a Verizon or uh, the AT and T. What what was that guy? What what company did he used to work? Do oh, he worked for Verizon. The he, guy he, says, he was the Verizon guy. He was the, the he pulled Crash pulled a Verizon guy on the gaming industry and said, he you did. know what? There's a better deal over here. I'm now gonna advertise eight for AT Sprint. for Sprint. If, can you hear me now? Well, no, I no, I can't. I've canceled Verizon. I'm on Sprint now. What's up yeah, with you? Can you hear me now? Great. Psych. I'm on Ver. I'm on Sprint. You can't hear me anymore. I suck. Yeah. <laughs> but no, like crap. That's a huge deal, man. They own Sony's it's face massive. from the '90s. Yeah, it's it's crazy. It's honestly crazy to think about. I mean, I thought that the the Bethesda deal was nuts but do, do you know how much the bethesda deal was no okay so this one we're talking about now the activision blizzard 68 yeah. billion unreal uh bethesda was 7 billion oh hum but i mean bethesda that's not, it's still 7 billion dollars but i mean that just shows you how much like this is it's massive it's massive it's gonna Let, it's going to change a lot of stuff going forward. so a lot of, especially the younger kids here uh like it's it, it is kind of even for adults right now for you and me potentially it's really hard to understand a million dollars like to yeah. understand the magnitude of a million dollars is really hard like we we you hear that word chess what's up man it's like once this podcast <laughs> you, 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 uh, we're, we're live recording We'll catch you in a minute. Uh, so, like, it's you, you hear a million, and it's really hard to comprehend a million, okay? A million dollars is really hard. I can't stress this enough. A billion? One billion is yeah, so... Not, not is, 60 fucking eight. One billion one. <laughs> is so much harder. To, it's not... Like, you hear a million and a billion, they rhyme, and they got lots of zeros. That's the only, that's the only thing that a million and a billion have in common. A billion... Yes. Is is an insurmountable? Is that the right word? I don't know. It's incredible. It's just it's, you can't you can't fa- you can't think about a billion. You, if you tried to think it's about hard a billion, to wrap your head around it. If yeah. you tried it's to think to about a billion, if you actually tried to crunch, uh, crunch numbers in a billion in your mind, you would die. Your brain would be on overload. You would die. That's how complicated a bit. I'm not even trying to overplay this. Right? It it's true. It's almost like trying to comprehend death. You can't do it. It's not possible to comprehend death because you're not alive. 
You physically, I mean, I, I you don't know. can't I think, think of. It, I think I can comprehend a billion better than I can comprehend death. But, but I it's get on what that. You're it's on that same kind of level of you yes, can't literally do it. It's not it's, possible. Like it's very difficult. I want to wrap talk, your head around. I want to talk to a scientist about this. I feel like I have a theory here, and I think there's something to it. You can't do it. It's not possible. Now it's multiply possible. that by sixty eight, and that sounds so small. It doesn't like it's easy to say. But it's impossible to think about. $68 billion, $68 billion anything <laughs> is impossible to think about. It's impossible. It's, it's a it's, big. Yeah, ridiculous money. It's ridiculous, okay? And you realize this too. I found this out today. It's not in like stocks. It's not in, you know, assets. It's fucking cash, bro. $68 billion. S Straight fire cash. Yeah. It, like no stocks, unreal, no, unreal. no, no, nothing. Just cash. It's Un crazy, unreal. I can't, I. So we're gonna. I'm gonna do my best to help you guys at home understand the the and try, try to comprehend. Oh, are we are we playing a game? Are we playing a game? It's kind of a game. It's kind okay. of sort of a game. That's um, fine. I don't really know how to make this a game. Okay. We're just gonna like we're gonna play along. Just play along. I'm uh, playing along. This is me. How do I do? How do I, I do? I don't. I honestly don't know how to do this. So this game is what a billion dollars can look like. It's a it's a it's a history article that just explains what we're talking about. One, one billion. Not sixty eight. Not sixty eight. Okay. One billion. The kind of things that you can buy with one billion dollars. What's one thing? Can you buy? Can you buy sharks with freaking laser beams attached <laughs> to their heads? I don't really know. Like you can't like guess. I don't think there's any any game here to be had. I think it's more of just which sit here and be in awe with me. Sit okay. here and be in awe with me. The first thing that's up. It's hard to see from your from the screen there. Fast cars is what it's called. So people. So, like you know, I don't know. <laughs> Like a Mercedes Benz, but like, I don't know, a bunch of them. A, it's, a Lamborghini. Me, th this is the least interesting one, I think, but just like a whole shit ton of absolute top of the notch luxury cars. Wait, you're, are you telling me there's a list of cars right here that you could buy that would total up to a billion dollars? Th no, there's not. There's no list of things, but it's, it's try, try to comprehend. It's as hard as it is to do, nearly impossible, some would say. <laughs> Just think about like a warehouse full of like Bugatti Veyrons, like a warehouse full of like like the most expensive possible car that you can think of, a warehouse full of them. That is what Microsoft just gave to this to Activision Blizzard, a, like a giant warehouse. No specific number here because it's not relevant. I could tell you the number; it doesn't mean anything. An insane amount of cars, but the most expensive cars possible. I wonder how many Toyota Camrys you could give. You could get a dude. You could get a <laughs> buttload of Toyota Camrys. You could have six warehouses full of Toyota Camrys. The next one is private jets. You could, and at that point, it, and they're talking about one billion. In this conversation, you could be the next American Airlines. At this point, the the amount of private jets that you could own. And it's not just a yeah. private jet. We're talking like the fuel, the staff, yeah, the maintenance, the, the maintenance. Yeah, it's, it's not. Yeah, it's not. Uh, you could an own an to keep. I wonder how much those airlines cost. If I was a better podcast host, I would have looked these things up prior. But like, you could probably just buy multiple airlines. You could be the airliner for the world with sixty-eight billion dollars. I don't think that's true, but I think it's fun to think about. <laughs> it is fun to think about. Uh, yachts. Many met. You could have the entire sea full of yachts. <laughs> okay, this is pretty good in the chat, actually. Chess says you can buy a round of beers for China. So for like every person in China. Every person in China. Do you, you realize how many people are in China? It's insane. It, it's it's what? You could probably look it up right close now. Close to a billion, right? Isn't number. there close to a billion? I, I don't know, but there's a lot of people there. A lot of people there. Too many people. Just, just thinking about that. <laughs> That's like, you know, walking into a bar and saying, hey, next round's on me, but you just say it. Yeah, you know, pull pull to up to China, pull, to all of China. Pull up to the oops, that's the wrong one. Pull up to the ocean and just like you know when you're walking up to the beach, you're walking up on the sand, you're getting close to the water. 
get close to the water and then just look to your left as far as you can see. Look to your right. You could probably line the whole perimeter, the whole panorama of your vision with yachts. Yeah. That's how many yachts. Just fill a beach with them. Fill a beach with yachts. That is what Microsoft just dropped on there. And here's the most interesting one that I think to think of. Try to put in perspective that much money. A skyscraper. <laughs> but not one. Your own. Not one. Many skyscrapers. Like, because <laughs> again, this is they're just talking about one billion dollars. So we're timesing this by sixty-eight. So, so you could pretty much like own Manhattan. You could own everything. essentially Manhattan with what Microsoft just dropped. This we're talking about the gaming industry here. We're not talking about like Jeff Bezos buys like you know Whole Foods like you know like we're talking about the game. The gaming industry is so exploding right now at a proportion we can't comprehend. Right from it, under, it like this, that, this yeah, right, like you said earlier, right now is a huge change in the in the industry. And let me mm -hmm. before I won't let I won't let you talk about what we talked about here, but but. Uh, I think it was F Phil, uh, Phil. It's not Spencer. What is his name? Phil from yeah. Xbox. Is it Spencer? Yeah. Phil Spencer from Xbox was talking, and uh, he has said something about uh, the fact that you know the lack of Xbox, uh, the current Xboxes, right? Obviously, there is supply chain issues, but no one's denying that there's not supply chain issues. But yeah, I mean, it's not just Xbox. It's yeah, problem. Everybody's exactly. Problem. But but here's something interesting that he said, and I don't have anything to quote, but I I just this is off the top of my head, my memory. Sp Phil Spencer had said that yes, there's supply chain issues. However, we have produced more Xboxes than we ever have to this point. In in con oh, really? in context to other releases. They've like, produced uh, as many like as the they ever have. 360 or the Xbox One. Sure, sure. That's insane. It, it, there's That's no crazy. more or less systems now than there was before. Because you would think, because of supply supply chain issues and the lack of uh, supply that we have of Xboxes, that they're just they're it's hard to get. It's not right. hard so to they, get. It's not hard made to made more. Yeah, peop, more people want them. Yes, the market Lots is growing. Want, yeah. That's yeah. why this huge investment was just dropped because the market. There's more gamers. There is more gamers yeah. than we ever have. Gaming has, there's like sports leagues now. <laughs> there is the podcasts with many people like us talking about it. YouTube channels. Like, ironically, the TV network, the gaming TV network is dead. With G4 or whatever. <laughs> they're those back. They're on they YouTube, back? dude. They, they're on they're YouTube. On YouTube. They're all, it's not because TV is a dying platform. That's another podcast for another day. But, but, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, but like, dude, like, there the gaming industry is in fucking sane. It's 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 crazy how big this, this is getting, and the amount of gamers out there is far surpassing anything we could have ever guessed ten years ago. Well, I mean, twenty clearly, years ago. I, I honestly did not know that. That's very interesting uh, information. That they've made more Xboxes than they ever have. But as, ma still, as many, I, I won't say okay, more. As, okay, as many, as many, but they can't keep them on the shelves anywhere. Yep. Nintendo, wow. same, the same thing. Oh, I want to say this earlier. Uh, just to so this is the Nintendo podcast. We we talk about Nintendo things here for the most part. Uh, Not today. Do, do you have any idea how, how much Nintendo is worth? Yeah, it's they're worth about what. Microsoft just paid for Activision Blizzard. That's how big this is. If you like Nintendo, know. You, you know, like the I know, man, it's uh, crazy. The, the, it's the, absolutely insane how much. I mean, it, you know, we, we keep kind of going on and on about this, but but to really drive the point home here, that amount of money for something like this, like it is, it's unheard of. It's crazy. It's absolutely. It's it's really hard to even sit here and talk about it and understand it. You know what I mean? Like they spent a Nintendo <laughs> on a game developer. Like here's a Nintendo. Give us all that. You mean like a like an NES? <laughs> no, just like the company. Just the whole company. Here's a Nintendo. Here's like, a here's a Nintendo. Nintendo of America, Europe, Asia. Here it is. We'll take all this now. Thank you. I I can't I can't fathom this. This is you know the what what happens with the the aftermath. You know where the games go if they are all Xbox exclusives or not. Game Pass, what have you? That is less interesting to me. 
the industry and where it's going, that's what interests me about this this accusation. I think it's I mean, I think it's all very interesting. I think I think seeing what happens, especially with games like Call of Duty, I think that's gonna be the one that's gonna that's gonna really set the tone for whatever happens in the future. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, is Microsoft gonna play nice? Are they gonna play nice? Are they gonna say, okay, you can have it, but you're gonna give us a ton of money for it. Like you're going to give us like half of what you made off of it last year, whatever. 20, like we're going to, we're going to be making that, not you. Yep. Or are they just going to say, no, like you guys can have Warzone. Like you can have Warzone, the free, you know, free to play multiplayer. You know, we can have that, but no, you don't get, you don't get the rest of Call of Duty. Sorry. That, that would be crazy. That's, that is what will change everything. That is when people are going to start being like, all right, well then fuck you. Like we're going to go after these guys. We're going to go after these guys. And that is exactly what I was talking about earlier when it becomes an arms race, when it's who can get the most third party companies. Cause there won't be, there won't be any left. Eventually they're going to take them all. And then at some point here, as much as they stay out of it, Nintendo's going to have to get involved too. They can't, they can't stand back and watch this happen. They need these companies too. We're we're still waiting for a Switch Pro like like church kids on Easter Sunday wearing our best garb with a bow tie. And and here here's Nintendo or here's Microsoft dropping a literal nuclear bomb on the industry saying we own most of it now. And you like yeah. you can't release a Switch Pro. You won't release slightly better performance. Yet here we are dropping 68 billion dollars. It's silly. Release the Switch I mean, Pro tomorrow. Like it would, it wouldn't even matter if we had a Switch Pro tomorrow. It wouldn't even matter. Nintendo or Microsoft just bought Activision Blizzard for sixty eight billion dollars, and we can't they bought get a it for Pro. a Nintendo. They bought it for a Nintendo. They're like, we'll make, we'll buy you Nintendo. We'll make it tomorrow. It's they easy. tried. Did you know that? This is a long time ago. They tried. <laughs> I did not know that. Yeah, Microsoft tried to buy Nintendo. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. It was long. It was like what, yeah. two thousand, early two thousand. It was before. It was before the Switch. I, I don't remember exactly when, but yeah, that did that did happen. And I feel, I feel like before the Wii, pretty much before the Wii or them. during the Wii or something like that. Uh, it might have been right. I don't. Know. I'll have to look that one up. Uh, we'll we'll figure that out. Maybe we'll talk about that another time. But um, yeah, yeah. They. I mean, they pretty much just laughed at him. Like you're, you're out of your mind. We're definitely not doing that. I. My brain is just spinning. Like, I, I don't, there's so many franchises. Most of them I don't play. That's why I'm, I haven't really talked about too much about the franchises. I mean, I, I Spyro and, and, and Crash, I, I very much know, like those games. I don't care about those either. I don't care about those. I don't care about Call of Duty. I don't play any of that stuff. But if I'm going to be getting Guitar Hero on Game Pass because of this, I mean, I'm pumped about that. I can that get would a be guitar. cool. I can That'd get be cool. one of those guitars. Like, that would be so much fun. That'd be cool. That'd be so much fun. Uh, I think it's going to wrap it up. Uh, unless you got anything else to add. No, I mean, we, we pretty much beat this dead horse down <laughs> the, into the, the ground. $68 billion. A Nintendo. A Nintendo. Thank you guys for listening. After show starts right now for the patrons. See you guys next week. Peace.